The geological history of this region reveals events that drastically shaped Earth's climate. Approximately 40,000 years ago, a colossal eruption from Campi Flegre launched volcanic material across Europe, significantly altering global atmospheric conditions. About 1,000 years later, a second explosion of similar magnitude reinforced the destructive power of this underground giant. These past events demonstrate that we are dealing with a volcanic system capable of influencing world climate, not just causing regional devastation. The last significant manifestation occurred in 1538 when Monte Nuovo emerged, reminding local inhabitants that this colossus never truly slept. During the last 75 years, scientific instruments have detected growing signs of unrest in the depths. Intermittent tremors, underground gas releases, and gradual ground deformations indicate that immense pressures are accumulating in deep magmatic chambers. These manifestations do not represent isolated events, but rather components of an evolutionary pattern that volcanological scientists monitor with growing concern. The phenomenon known as Bradyseism, characterized by gradual ground elevation, has intensified significantly in recent decades, suggesting that powerful forces are pushing the Earth's crust from below. The unique geological configuration of this caldera considerably amplifies the risks involved. Unlike conventional volcanoes that have well-defined conduits for pressure release, Campi Flegre presents a complex structure of interconnected chambers beneath a relatively fragile Earth's crust. This underground architecture means that when internal pressure reaches critical levels, release can occur explosively at multiple points simultaneously. Recent research using advanced seismic technology has revealed three distinct layers. An upper zone of fractured rocks, an intermediate reservoir rich in compressed gases, and a dense base that acts as the foundation of the volcanic system. The population density of the Naples metropolitan region transforms any volcanic activity into a humanitarian threat of epic proportions. Millions of people live their daily lives completely unaware that they reside above one of the most unstable geological structures on the European continent. Intensive urbanization over the centuries has created vulnerable infrastructure with old buildings that were not designed to resist the types of seismic events that precede volcanic eruptions. This complex demographic situation makes any evacuation process a logistical operation of unprecedented complexity. Recent geochemical studies of gas emissions from the Solfaterra crater confirm that approximately 80% of the carbon dioxide released originates directly from underground magma. This crucial scientific data indicates that molten material is much closer to the surface than previously estimated. The combination of this magmatic proximity with increased seismic activities and continuous ground elevation forms a geological picture that demands constant vigilance from the international scientific community. An alarming series of seismic tremors has dramatically disturbed the tranquility of the region. These tremors began uh, apparently discreetly but quickly evolved in both intensity and frequency at intervals of just a few minutes. The predominant epicenter of these seismic events has been identified in the Solfatara area, recognized by specialists as one of the most sensitive and unstable zones of the entire volcanic caldera. For local residents, this seismic escalation has completely transformed daily routine, forcing them to remain in constant alert. During the early morning hours, when most people should be resting peacefully, deafening roars accompanied by violent tremors have forced entire families to precipitously abandon their residences. Many residents report that their homes, already aged and structurally weakened by time, sway dangerously with each new seismic shock. The pattern of these tremors reveals particularly concerning characteristics. They arrive in short but intense bursts, accompanied by underground sounds that echo like distant explosions, indicating massive energy release in the depths of the Earth's crust. Volcanology experts point out that this specific seismic behavior may be directly related to the progressive accumulation of pressure in underground magmatic chambers. The Bradyseism phenomenon continues active relentlessly, registering monthly elevation of approximately 0.4 inches, one centimeter, evidencing that something of considerable dimensions is exerting upward force from the depths. This constant ground elevation does not represent merely a geological curiosity, but rather a direct indicator that the volcanic system is responding to growing internal pressures that will eventually demand release. A particularly alarming aspect of the current situation is the significant reduction observed in natural volcanic gas emissions, especially sulfur dioxide. This decrease may seem positive superficially, but in reality indicates possible blockages in the natural outlets of the volcanic system, 
When these escape routes become obstructed, underground gases and fluids begin to accumulate in dangerous quantities, exponentially elevating the internal pressure of the system. This situation creates ideal conditions for a freatic eruption. A violent explosion caused by sudden contact between underground water and superheated magma. The seismic record since the 19th day of the month shows a practically uninterrupted sequence of tremors, with moment magnitudes varying between 1.0 and 3.2 in extremely short periods. This intense seismic activity, concentrated mainly during nighttime hours, has kept the local population in a state of constant psychological tension. It is not just the fear of a possible eruption that terrorizes inhabitants, but also the real possibility of structural collapses in historic buildings that depend on mutual support to remain standing. Resident reports indicate that in past seismic events with moment magnitudes greater than 4.0, ceilings collapsed completely and house interiors became filled with dense clouds of dust and debris. The structural fragility of these centuries-old constructions dramatically aggravates the situation making the population even more vulnerable to events that continue occurring with growing frequency. With each new tremor, collective anguish intensifies. Precise measurements of ground elevation reveal data that significantly reinforce scientific concerns about the evolution of the volcanic situation. The Brady Schism phenomenon observed in Campi Flegre since 2005 demonstrates that the ground has already risen more than 4.9 feet, one and a half meters, with particular concentration in the city of Pozzuoli. This substantial elevation results directly from the accumulation of magma and underground gases that exert upward pressure against the Earth's crust, literally pushing it upward. The process represents much more than a geological curiosity. It constitutes clear evidence that tremendous forces are mobilizing in the depths. Italian researchers conducted detailed analyses on rock samples extracted from deep wells drilled directly into the volcanic caldera. Using high-resolution seismic imaging technology, they managed to virtually reconstruct the complex internal structure of the volcanic system. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about volcanology and extraordinary geological phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss the next content about the most extraordinary events on planet Earth. Share this video with people who need to be informed about this critical situation, as scientific knowledge can make the difference between adequate preparation and dangerous ignorance. Leave in the comments your opinion about recent developments in Campi Flegre and whether you believe authorities are taking adequate preventive measures.